Hello students, welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today this video will focus on the solutions of first order and higher degree, right? So let's understand which methods do we have in first order and higher degree. So here you can see that first order and higher degree means that the differential equations will have order equal to 1 and degree will be greater than 1. When we had order 1 and degree 1, we had methods of solving like exact equations, variable separable method, the linear differential equations and equations which were of the homogeneous kind, right? So now the, we will be dealing with higher degree differential equations but they will have order 1 only. So the methods to solve these differential equations are we can solve it by solvable for p method, we can solve it by solvable for y method, then solvable for x method and the Clarets form, right? So today in this video, I will tell you how the differential equations will be solvable by the method of solvable by p. So now let us understand this method. So when we say that the equations are solvable by P, what is the meaning of this P? P means the derivative dy by dx, right? So in this case, what is the identification that a differential equation will be solvable by P? If any differential equation of order 1 and higher degree can be factorized into linear factors of P, then we can solve it by the method of solvable by P. So let us see in this equation, we have p squared plus p e to the power x plus e to the power minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So here when we, if I write this differential equation, it is basically dy by dx whole square plus dy by dx into e raised to power x plus e raised to power minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So here you can see that the order is 1 but the degree is 2. Right, so we no longer have those methods of solving which we were earlier solving it. So we have now new methods, and now in this case, the first step is we will replace p by dy by dx. So the given equation is already in that form, right? So now let us try to see that whether we can factorize this differential equation or not. So when we factorize this differential equation, you can see that we can make the pair p square and p into e raised to power x plus p into e raised to power minus x plus 1 equal to 0, right? So from the first two terms, I can take out p common, right? So if I take out p common, what am I left with? I'm left with p plus e to the power x. And from these two terms, we can write 1 as, this one can be written as e raised to power x into e raised to power minus x, right? So if I take out e raised to power minus x common, I will be left with p plus e raised to power x is equal to 0. So you can see that we get two linear factors, p plus e raised to power x into p plus e raised to power minus x is equal to 0. So when product of two differential equation is equal to zero, so that means both of them will become either one of them will be zero or maybe both of them are zero, right? So let us put them equal to zero. So we get p into e raised to power x is equal to zero or we get p plus e raised to power minus x is equal to zero. So now can you see that now it has been reduced to a differential equation of order one and degree one? And you already know the methods to solve it, right? So we can take e to the power x on the right hand side. And you can see that it is a variable separable form. So dy is e raised to power x into dx. And now when we integrate it, we get y is e raised to power x plus constant c1, right? Similarly, so I can just write this term as y minus e raised to power x minus c1 is equal to 0, right? Now, let us take the second equation and solve it. So, again, dy by dx plus e raised to power minus x is equal to 0. So, I can shift e to the power minus x on the other side. So, we get dy by dx is equal to e to the power minus x. And again, it's a variable separable form. So, we can write it like this. And now, when we integrate it, we get y is equal to minus e raised to power minus x plus c2. So this becomes y minus y plus e to the power minus x minus 
C2 is equal to 0. So once we get the two different answers, how to write the final answer? We will just club in both the equations together. We'll write it in the form of a product. Y minus e to the power x minus e1 multiplied by y plus e to the power minus x minus e2. We'll multiply them and the product is equal to 0. So this becomes our final answer. Right? So this is the method of solvable by. So let us try to do another question and you will understand how this method works out. So let us take this equation. So we have dy by dx minus dx by dy is equal to x by y minus y by x. So first of all, let us convert this equation. So we know that dy by dx is equal to p. So this is p minus 1 by p is equal to x by y minus y by x. Right? So I can take the LCM and I'll get P square minus 1 by P is equal to X square minus Y square divided by XY. So we can cross multiply the equations. We get P square XY minus XY minus P into X square plus P into Y square is equal to C. So now... I have taken all the terms on one side and this is how we get the equation. Now we need to make the pairs. So when we make the pairing, I will write it here. P square XY minus PX squared. I'm taking the first and the third term. And then we take the second and the fourth term plus PY squared is equal to zero. So from the first two terms, I can take out PX common. I'm left with PY minus X minus I can take out Y common. And I'm writing this term first, p by minus x is equal to 0. So we have p by minus x into p x minus y. This is equal to 0. So you can see that we are getting two factors in p. So let's equate both the factors equal to 0 one by one. So p by minus x is equal to 0 and p x minus y is equal to 0. Right? So here... This is y into dy by dx minus x is equal to 0. So you can take x on the other side and you can separate the variables. So you will get y into dy is equal to x into dx. So you can integrate it. You'll get y squared by 2 is equal to x squared by 2 plus c, right? So you can multiply y squared minus x squared minus you can call it as c dash is equal to right now let us take up the next equation and here this is x into dy by dx minus y is equal to zero so now this becomes dy by y is equal to dx by x so when you integrate both sides we get log y is equal to log x plus log c. So you can remove log and you'll get y is equal to x times c or y minus x into c is equal to 0. Right? So again, you can multiply these two expressions and you can combine the answers. y square minus x square minus c dash multiplied by y minus x into c is equal to 0. So this becomes our answer right so i hope you have understood the method right so do try these questions and see your progress whether you have understood the method and if you are not able to follow any of these questions do put it in the comment box so that i can see your queries right and thank you for listening so if you like the video, do hit the like button and those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video and believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you.